what I'm going to show you today is a great add-on for Mac called Geek Tool. Basically, it allows you to put any information on your desktop that you would like to see on your desktop. And here's an example. You can go ahead and open this here. You can go ahead and see this. Up here in the top right-hand corner of this example desktop, you can see they have the day of the week, the date, and the time. And then at the bottom of their desktop, you can see they have the current weather conditions as well as other computer information. Now it's a great add-on, it's great for any type of information like this and like I said you can put pretty much anything on it that you'd like. Now keep this link, I'll go ahead and post it in the side of this video, um, but keep this link and it's got all kinds of great shell commands listed for us already because that's what we're going to start with and you can search around the web for other commands. But first things first, you need to download Geek Tool. Here's the link, you can, I'll post this w along with it as well but there you go, you can see it. Go and download Geek Tool 3. You can also do a quick Google search to find a link for it. Once you get it downloaded, you're going to want to open your system preferences and then click the Geek Tool 3 icon that is listed under the other category. Once it opens, you're going to see over here on the side it says Manage Groups and then on the left side of the screen it says Geeklets. First thing you're going to want to do is make a new group by clicking this plus icon plus. Click the plus and then type in day of week. That's the first thing we're going to put on our desktop. Enable also needs to be clicked before anything will be visible. So click enable and then click on the shell, uh, the word shell and drag over to the desktop. This little window opens. Looks very complex. It's really not. See where it says command? It's where we paste our shell command that we're going to get from here where, under, uh, where it says day of the week. Click on that, copy the command, come back over here, type it into the command, and then we can see soon enough it says Saturday right there for us. Uh, I just messed that up. My apologies. Let's, go, let's try that again. Okay, so paste the command in there. There we go. There we have Saturday listed. And then we're going to go ahead and change the font and the color of it. We're going to change it to Lucida Calligraphy. And come down here, click size, say four, we want 48, for example. We can resize this. To change the color of the font, you need to click this little lime green box up here. It's this lime green box. Go and click on that, and you get a whole color palette to open. And then you can go it, come through, and you can set any color you'd like. We'll go ahead and stick with red for now. And then you can even change the background color. It puts basically a box. It's the same kind of color palette. And then you can all you need to do is change the opacity depending on what type of box you would like. We, I'm not going to go with a box because personally I don't like them that much, but they can look really nice on other things. So now that we have the day of the week, we're going to click plus again. And we're going to go ahead and type in date this time. And then we're just going to uh, we're going to drag another shell over, and basically it's going to we're going to have a whole new command. So we're going to click. We want the date, not the month, so get the date command, come over here, type it in, and then we can see 21 pops up because it is the 21st of November. Now make this a nice big font, and we're not, I'm not going to make the uh, desktop too fancy here, so I'm just going to leave it black, but you can change the font color the same way as you did the others or the, um, the day of the week, and we're just going to list it right here, right, let's, we'll line up the one under the Saturday, under the S. So you can put that there just like so. Then if you look, you have Saturday and then 21, um, so you go and get both of those. Next, I believe we have both of these are listed under let me see this. Yeah, they're both under day of the week, I believe. But um, you can sort these however you'd like. 
But um, basically, you just need to add new stuff. We want to do, say, the month now. So go and drag a shell command over for month. I believe this is all still going under the day of the week, like I said. You can split them into different categories however you'd like. So we're going to get the month um, here. So go and copy and paste the month command. Then in our third box, we have November pop up. And we'll go and make that blue just for the heck of it. If it would change for us. The program can be a tad off like that sometimes. So just stick with it, bear with it for uh, bear with it. Because it can be pretty irritating. But you get in the gist here. So uh, we'll put November, we'll make it a little bit smaller. We'll change the font to we'll go with this one. And then like you um, you can just change the box here so it's not as annoying taking up as much space. And then we're gonna go and stick it right here on top of the one. So then check that out. So we have Saturday, 21 November. Yes, I know it's not very pretty. I'm not going for that right now. Basically, I'm just showing you how to use it. And you can do this with anything. You can put them all over the desktop wherever you'd like. You can go with the weather. Um, that's all just shell commands. Now we're gonna move on to pictures. So see where it says image. You're going to drag image. Well, real fast. Go ahead and open a new one here, and just type in car. Let's we'll find an image of a car. Go and click that. Go and drag this over, and then there's a location for a URL. And you can also set a local path. But we're gonna go to, over here. We're gonna go to Google.com. We're gonna find a picture of a car in Google Images. We'll go with this one here. And you're just going to want to copy the URL and then paste it in. Just give it a couple seconds. It takes it a little bit longer with the image. So just give it a second and then you'll see an image of the car. The exact same image pop up. Right there we go. So now you have the image of the car on your desktop. So say we wanted it just down here in the um, lower corner. There you go. Check it out. You have an image of a car down there in the corner now. And then the next thing, you can even put um, text on your de uh, desktop that you, if you like certain text, you can go with that. Um, some people put quotes on their desktop, etc. So I'm going to drag what's, uh, where it says file. First you need to, once again, make one of these. So just say, we're going to call it lorem ipsum, because that's the dummy text we're using for today. So then click the plus, drag file over here to your desktop, and then it says file. So we're going to, uh, right here in the middle set where it says file, go ahead and click on it, click choose, and then we're going to go to our desktop, lorem ipsum, open it, and then you can get all kinds of um, document pretty much pops up onto your desktop. You can see it showing right here. Um, you can, once again with this, you can also change the font color, so if you wanted it green text on your desktop, um, and all that stuff. That's basically the exact document I've put in to, uh, this text edit right here. So you can see it all. It's really cool, a uh, program add-on for Mac and I highly recommend it. Um, it's just really handy and you can make all kinds of great desktops out of it. Like you can see here for example, this is a great desktop. You just mess around with Geek Tool and you'll get like this. This is basically the black rectangle just with all kinds of stuff above it. It's, it's really not that hard to do. It just takes the basic, uh, basic knowledge of Geek Tool. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Hope you know how to use Geek Tool now. Thank you.